Artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm in the last year. With the rise of new technologies like chat GPT and artificial intelligence image generation, it feels like the world will never be the same. But with this new technological advancement, AI is actually unlocking new use cases for blockchains. And today I want to talk about one specific use case that I've never talked about on my YouTube channel before. And frankly, I don't see really anybody else talking about this online. It can unlock new possibilities for cryptocurrency and DeFi, but also some use cases for blockchains that have nothing to do with cryptocurrencies, which is really exciting. So I'm explain exactly what it is in this video today and why you need to pay attention and some exciting new projects that are implementing this technology that are flying under the radar. I'm gonna explain everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish, get ahead of the next crypto wave, I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about artificial intelligence and blockchains and how we can put these two things together to create new use cases that have never been possible before. Things like decentralized on-chain trading bots that anybody can use, on-chain yield farming bots that outperform the market, and also open source transparent AI models that anybody can verify 100% on-chain. So how is this possible? With a fairly new technology that not very many people are talking about called Zero Knowledge Machine Learning or ZKML. So what is it and how does it work? Well, let's break it down. Let's first start off with the machine learning part. Okay, so machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence and machine learning is basically what powers technologies like chat GPT uh, from OpenAI. Okay, it's a large language model and that runs off of machine learning. So basically it takes a lot of information and puts it into the model. And then basically you're able to chat with this model and it can give you answers based upon the information that it's been trained on. All right, so that's the machine learning side of things, but what about the zero knowledge side of things? Well, zero knowledge is a concept in cryptography uh, we talk about zero knowledge proofs. So what is this? Well, basically it's a way to prove information is true without revealing all the information itself. So the classic example to illustrate this concept is like showing you a Where's Waldo image. If I told you, hey, I'm gonna give you this picture of Where's Waldo, I want you to prove that you found Waldo without revealing Waldo's location. What you could do is basically take a cutout of Waldo without any context for the background, okay, and then show that picture to me that you prove that you found Waldo, but doesn't tell me where it is. And so we can use these zero knowledge proofs and these machine learning models to create new use cases for crypto which I'm gonna delineate all those use cases here in a second, but let's kind of talk about how they're gonna work. So behind every single machine learning model, you have a couple different things, all right? You have this model here in the middle, all right? You have the input data that it's trained on, and then also the weights of that information, and then you have the outputs. And so what you have here is two essential different ingredients, the input data and the weights, the model, and then the output. Now, this looks kind of similar to what's actually happening behind the public key cryptography schemes used in blockchain transactions, okay? So like if I was gonna do a transaction and send cryptocurrency from my wallet to yours and sign that transaction with my MetaMask, what I would do is I would have a secret key, all right, the public message is like your private key, the message that you're signing to make that transaction. You run it through a signature algorithm that everybody uses on chain, then you submit the signature in the public message and the blockchain verifies that and then actually makes the transaction on the blockchain. Now, that looks very similar to what's happening here. And so what you can do with ZKML is basically you can take these private inputs and public inputs, you can run through any arbitrary program, in this case, like machine learning, and then you know output the proof and the public parts and the blockchain can verify this. Now, I know that all might seem a little complex, but let me break it down a little simpler terms. So basically what you can do is have input data and weights into a, a machine learning model that uses zero knowledge proofs that has some output. And then you can choose to make one of these pieces of information completely private where you don't have to know that the information itself, but you can verify that information is valid and also verify that the output that the machine learning model is giving you is also valid and was used on that model itself. Now, I know that all stealth sounds pretty complicated, but I think the easiest way to visualize this is to just look at some of the use cases for this technology, okay? 
So I'm gonna go through a couple different real world applications here. Now, again, some of these are very experimental early use cases. I'm not endorsing specific projects necessarily that I talk about in this section of the video, and this is not sponsored or anything like that. I'm just giving you examples so that you can understand how this works. So one example would be like an on-chain trading bot that's completely decentralized. So this is a real world example of this type of bot. So how would, how would this work with the model that I'm talking about? So what you would do is you would essentially have a machine learning model that actually does the price predictions and, and makes the trades to try to outperform the underlying assets that it's trading. Now, the beauty of this model is you don't necessarily have to know all the information that is being tweaked in this way. So some of the information can still remain private, but you can use zero knowledge proofs to verify that this model is basically doing what it's supposed to and that those can then be in turn used and hooked into blockchains and executed with smart contracts. So in summary, you can have a bot that runs on chain that anybody can participate in to get a part of the rewards and you don't have to reveal everything about how that bot works. Some of it can remain a secret, some of it can be public, and that's only possible with this zero knowledge proof. All right, so another example is doing on-chain yield farming, okay, with machine learning where you can keep this parts of the strategy completely secret. People don't know exactly how it's working, but you can still do this in a decentralized on-chain to outperform the market and boost yields. So, you know, let's talk about yield farming. So this is basically where you're taking cryptocurrency, you're putting into apps and trying to get yield, maybe in the same cryptocurrency to get some type of percentage yield or, you know, a new cryptocurrency where you basically deposit cryptocurrency, you earn passive income over time. Now, the problem with this is you kind of have to chase different yield farms and move your assets around all the time. And we've seen yield aggregators come out in the past where essentially they'll have smart contracts that just do that for you. But you can basically create, you know, artificial intelligence ways of doing this to find the best yield that could potentially outperform all these other strategies. And that's exactly what like Noya AI is. You can see kind of their advertisement here about these different strategies, Ave, Uniswap, Curve or Velodrome and how this strategy would have outperformed that by significant margin over time with this machine learning behind the scenes. And that anybody can participate in this strategy, but they don't necessarily have to know exactly how it's working behind the scenes. So again, you have some input data and some parameters on how that data works. You can keep some of that a secret, but you can still prove the integrity of this with zero knowledge proofs. All right, so another big use case for this in the future is, is one that has really nothing to do with crypto. And that's something I'm particularly excited about because I think cryptocurrencies are great, DeFi is great. We have so much potential with blockchains that we're not really unlocking. And it's a way for you know this technology to decouple from the crypto markets and actually gain meaningful adoption without having to worry about what's happening in the crypto space. So this is a new use case that's birthed from really just the existence of AI and new problems that AI has created but blockchain can help solve some of those problems. And so what is that? Well, you know, there's lots of problems regarding centralization and not knowing how some of these models work behind the scenes. So for example, we see tons of new applications come out uh, that use the same types of models that are powered by ChatGPT. And there's lots of trust assumptions with this. Like, if you have an app that claims to be using artificial intelligence and that it's using a certain type of model, then how would you be able to actually prove that? You have to completely trust that that person is, is doing what they say. So with this same type of scheme here, you could use a zero knowledge proof to essentially verify that the answer that you got back from an application like this is actually using the type of model that the person says that they're going to. And you can verify this 100% on chain. And another thing this does is it opens up the possibility for these massive machine learning models that people were becoming so heavily dependent upon to be open source and more transparent, okay? We've seen lots of calls to slow down the development of artificial intelligence. Probably not gonna happen. But one thing we could do is basically make these things more transparent. So we could see a lot of these big language models become open source where, you know, some of the information is public knowledge, but maybe the parameters that are used for these types of models can be kept completely secret. OK, and we can do that with zero knowledge proofs, add a tremendous amount of transparency to the equation without revealing every single proprietary trade secret this centralized entity, you know, is, is entitled to. All right. So that's an overview of what we can do with zero knowledge machine learning and some specific use cases and how this would work.
Now, what's the current state of all this stuff? Well, with this particular technology, it's in its really early phases, okay? I would call it in the research and development phase. That's one of the reasons that a lot of people aren't talking about this because it doesn't have a ton of traction, but it undeniably has a massive amount of potential based on everything that I've said in this video. So that being said, what are some of the headwinds and some limitations that have to be overcome in order for this to actually take off? Well, a lot of it just boils down to the computational overhead required to generate a zero knowledge proof, okay? Lots of times zero knowledge proofs are very computationally expensive. And so for the use case, like I talked about, basically making these large language models completely transparent where you could use zero knowledge proofs for the verification, it's going to be a deal breaker with the complexity of those models right now. That being said, we can do things in this scheme that I just showed you here with more lightweight models. So you're not going to be able to take chat GPT with the current computational cost to like integrate that into a ZKP circuit and be able to accomplish everything I'm talking about right now. We're just not there yet. But you could take some smaller lightweight models and make them completely public and do just this. That being said, we are seeing some exciting developments in this space where we're continuously reducing the cost required to do some of these types of computations. And in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before we see the viability of this really start to get tracked. And so what's my forecast on that? Well, again, I don't think this is something that's just like around the corner in a few months time. This is in the research and development phase, but you know, we're unlocking new use cases for blockchain at the intersection of AI. And you can see where the intersection of these two technologies is headed. And of course, some of them will be with our current use cases like DeFi, NFTs, and crypto, but it's unlocking lots of other use cases that have nothing to do with cryptocurrencies and are a way to generate demand for blockchains completely decoupled from that sector entirely. And so with that being said, you know, how can you get involved in this early technology? Well, you can check out a project like uh, EZKL or Ezekiel, which basically is a Python library where you can integrate ZKML with your smart contracts. You can check it out at ezkl.xyz. But outside of that, of course, you can smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And of course, you're going to need the foundational technical skills in order to pull any of this off. And so I can show you how to do that. You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you'll take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.